Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Woo, come on in, y'all. We're gonna be chatting today. But we don't have a we don't have a, a whole let me see. Uh we don't have a lot to talk about. So that's okay. Come on in, y'all. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. I know I said it already. Let's sit and chat with me. With the hood girl. Come on in here, y'all. Don't be shy. Come on in. Let's say prayers because this food is really hot. Let's do this. Oh, Father God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for blessing us through this week. Oh, my God. Thank you. Uh, and that's enough. Thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. But I want to continue to pray for Ukraine, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. And amen. Let's cheer. The week is over. It is the Easter weekend. So, yeah. Dye your eggs. Uh, go Easter. Do they still do Easter egg hunting? I don't know. But look here. I love you. So, salute. Salute. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Cheers, sisters. Mm-hmm. I hope y'all are happy. Like me. Let's do it. We Oh. I'm talking about let's do it. Uh, we got some air fried fresh wings and, of course, french fries. I have a bowl here because I have my ranch right here. Because, you know, I like it on my french fries and uh, my chicken. I do have some hot peppers here. My sweet and spicy. No. Hot and sweet that is. Y'all know I got that. My camera's gonna go out, y'all. We can't stay here too long. So y'all, y'all know I love my jalapenos when I eat my chicken and other few things. So we're gonna put them right there on the top because I don't want that in that bowl. And then, of course, we got hot sauce if I want it. But uh, this drink is refreshing. Mm -hmm. mm. Do I have a cocktail tonight? A beer? Or, uh, what you call them? Wine coolers? I call wine coolers Kool-Aid for me. It does nothing. Mm. Mm. That's good. Our fire french fries are really good. Mm -hmm. You want one here, though? Okay, y'all. My matchmaking event is going really slow. And I don't mind telling y'all the truth, but I'm not going to give up. I just think that a lot of people are online dating, and that's okay because I did a whole lot of online dating as well. But what I realized with online dating, especially with the men, their pictures are old. You have to ask them for current pictures. And before they put the current pictures, they would say, uh, well, um, I can text you with my pictures. No, you on the dating site. I'm going to need to see your current pictures on the site. So guess what? You don't have to do that on, anymore. At that hood girl's live matchmaking, all you have to do is come on the panel. We'll see you in the flesh. Live and in color. No more swiping to the left or the right. Okay? So tell your friend to bring your friend. Come on, y'all. Uh -huh. Toast to the matchmaking. Okay? Tomorrow. Well, I can't say tomorrow because I don't know <laughs> when y'all going to see this video. But every Saturday, 8 to 9 Central Standard Time. Except for... Uh, April 23rd, I would be out of pocket at my sister's backyard party. Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all, this is the first time mm, 
I love french fries with this ranch. This is the first time I did fresh wings because every time I do my wings, it's, it's um, in the bag. The frozen ones. This is the first time I did fresh wings and I'm telling you, you know, I'm like, okay, I know how to cook them. But look here, I want mine hard. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Mm-hmm. I want to show... Y'all, last year, I made an Easter basket and I saved my basket and my eggs. I, I like to put kisses in my eggs, so, you know, the kisses. So I took out my uh, Easter basket. I'm going to buy some chocolate bunnies. I'm going to dock a few eggs as well and make it pretty. Mm -hmm. And colorful. I wouldn't mind learning how to create baskets. Mm -hmm. mm. I want y'all to pray uh, for the sick and shut in as well. Here you go. Yum, yum, give me some. Y'all, our weather is good here. I was sitting on the patio a little minute ago. Oh, my goodness. Let's go up. Mm. Do y'all do y'all know that when you smack sometimes you get the full flavor of your food? <laughs> mm. I'll just put it right there. I look at the tribal people, y'all. The people are uh, across the world. They call tribal people. And uh they are introduced with American foods. Oh, I love that show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The expression that they have when they taste our food is just priceless. Let me tell y'all something. When you look at people across the world, everybody have their own culture, as you know. The tribal people that I watch, their bath, their, the way they bathe is outside of their houses. They live in caves, y'all, with the dirt floors. Huh. We cannot complain about anything. I encourage y'all to look at their show. It's amazing. And they invite you to where they live. And I just look and I'm in awe because they live in cave-like situations, y'all, with dirt floors and they eat on their floors and how they cook and it's amazing. And that's their life. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Simply amazing. It reminds me in the Old Testament. When the Israelites was in the desert and they was walking here and walked there, they took the land, they beat the people, they looked at it. How did y'all think that they lived? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Do y'all like that flap? I do. Mm, it's right hard. Really hard. That's amazing. Yeah, two in the bottom. I like the flap. The flap. Mm, fry hard. Mm hmm That's good. What are you plan what are y'all plans for the Easter weekend? Are y'all gonna be down some extra children? 
Who's going to dress up like the Easter Bunny? You know, for me, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't celebrate all these days. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But Easter is so colorful, you know? I like the colors. So that's why I do it. It's not like I'm celebrating it. I just like to make something beautiful with the colors. But I know a lot of you, you celebrate the holidays that, that man made. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in, the, in the Bible, they had a lot of festivals. But it wasn't called what we call festivals today. So when I look up festivals for us today, because I do look them up. Man made it. All I know is that one thing God don't like is for us to have other gods at all. He teaches it <clears throat> all the time. He says it all the time. Period. No idols from the world on top of the sea beneath. He said, don't. And for me, because I read it all the time, I'm thinking like it's a command and it's a demand. Do not. Because that makes him really angry. Yeah. Um. The tribe of people right now is in Ramadan, whatever that is, in their culture. I can't say whatever that is because some of that is in the Bible. It really is, y'all. In the Old Testament. You know what? I'm reading the Old Testament again, and I'll tell you something. I read the Old Testament three times already. But every time I go back, I learn so much more. That just says you would never know the whole Bible. Mm -mm. But it's amazing to read it. Amazing. Y'all, this some good chicken. Mm -mm. That's a gristle. Um, mm. Those seasonings are bomb. Look how good it's cooked, y'all. Well, for me, I never cook these, so... I know how long to cook the frozen ones. I cook these like five minutes over. <laughs> 20 minutes plus five. So 25 minutes. But I flipped them in half of the 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. They are so freaking good. Mmm, y'all. Tonight, uh, put a ring on it. And ready to love. Wait, do put a ring? Oh, yeah, both of them. Come on. I'm ready. It's going to be some juicy stuff. Yes, I'm all over the place. Don't mind me. It is what it is. Yeah. Something is spicy. I think that pepper was hotter than all the others. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, yeah. Excuse me. That was big. <laughs> excuse me.
Mm. It's good. I would do fresh chicken again. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And y'all see when I cut it, I left my flaps because I like my flap. Normally, people cut the flaps off already. Y'all already know that. Mm hmm. I know. But I like my flaps, especially when they cook hard. Mm -hmm. Y'all. I got a good meal after church on Sunday, honey. Mm. Y'all want to know? Of course you do. We're going to have either some baked chicken legs or a ham. Depending. We're going to have some cornbread dressing. Homemade. I did the cornbread yesterday so it can dry out. And um, we have cornbread dressing, uh, collard greens, a potato salad, these rolls, or some kind of, no, Hawaiian rolls. And I'm going to make a banana pudding, yeah. Mm hmm Come on over. And let's suck together. I love sharing food. Yeah. I don't eat everybody's food, though. I'm thinking that uh, thing fast, ain't I, y'all? I better slow down. I'll be buzzing. I remember in my 20s, I got drunk like, I can remember three times. That third time, it was my birthday. I drunk almost a half a gallon of Chevy's Regal Scotch, y'all. I didn't know how I got home the after. I slept all day, so I think I had just a little bit of alcohol poisoning. But when I did wake up, I had to ask a lot of questions. I didn't like that. And that was the last time, I think I was 28, that I got drunk. I don't like the feeling. I don't like how you don't forget, how you don't remember stuff. I don't like that. Excuse me. Why am I burping so, burping so much today? Ooh. What is it? Me because I'm drinking so fast? Yeah, when I drink at home, I don't like to drink and drive. I do not like to drink and drive. First of all, I'm a little older. And my the, I noticed that the alcohol does different things now at 59. But I like two good cocktails. Period. If I'm having company or something like that, I'll do the buttery nipples or the calm shots. We'll, we'll do a couple of shots. But for me, two shots, two drinks, I'm done. Now, if we smoking cigars, we ain't doing the shots. If if I'm smoking hookah, I may do one shot. Mm -mm. You know, when you, you get older, things change. And you know, when you realize things change, that means you're growing, you know? So, will I stop drinking at some point? That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I do not want the TV in here, y'all. I'll just see it right now. You know what? I don't know. There is a possibility, y'all, because I think about it. For the day I have my last drink. Because when I was married, my husband was going through some stuff. And so to support him, I had to stop drinking. Period. So I stopped drinking for 
six years. Back then, I only was drinking uh, Budweiser, no, y'all. No hard alcohol. But I stopped to support him, you know? So, I don't think it's hard for you because I only drink three days a week. Maybe four. <laughs> but, like, if I drink on Thursday, because I know I have to work on Friday, I only do one good drink. Period. This size. It's always that size, actually. <laughs> Unless I'm trying some daiquiri or something. And then on Friday, depending on how tired I am, normally I have one. And if I had a, a, a good day and my mind not tired or anything, my brain is still functioning, after all that talking and interviewing, I might have two. So, y'all, y'all, we about to, we about to shut off, y'all. So let's get ready to sing. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around. On the other side, I love you all. So, yeah, be blessed, y'all. Love, period.